a short video of some things I have done um, over the years to speed up Office Mate and Exam Writer, and are also referenced in some um, articles released in tech support. So the um, first thing to do is um, to give your server, your Office Mate server, a static IP address. Your router in the office, when you log in on any computers, will assign um, each computer an IP address. And if you're not familiar with what your IP address is, a simple thing to do is first to go down here to the Start menu. In the search, just type CMD for a command. And up here, you're going to type IP config. And we're just going to look and see what the IP address that your router has given to this computer that we're on. I'm on a workstation computer. So when you log in um, or restart your computer, here is the IP address for this computer, 192.168.1.13. Um, so if you look at this other stuff here, we'll go back to this in just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set a static IP address for each computer if you're not already doing that in your office. And this can speed up not only OfficeMate exam writer, but anything else in your office that you're connecting to. If you have a computer with your OCT, visual field, and even your printers, if you set each one, give each one a static IP address, you'll see everything will run much quicker in the office. I'm going to leave this up here. So how to see if you, um, on your server or any workstation, if you have a static IP address set. So we're going to go down to the Start Panel, go up to Control Panel, and in Control Panel, um, you can click on Network and Internet and Network and Sharing Center. And over on the left, change adapter settings. And this is your Ethernet connection in the back of your computer where you plug in your Ethernet cable. We're going to right click and select Properties. And under here, under IP4, and if you see that thing we just pulled up, your IP4 address, that's the one we're going to use. You're going to click on Properties, and you're going to see if you have a static IP address set. So this one does not have one set. So we're going to use um, this here to set a static IP address. So I'll simply just going to click this, and we're going to put in here um, the IP address you want to use. If you look down here, these, the subnet mask, this is always going to be this number, and the default gateway is this. So basically your router, can you, you have up to 250 um, things you can connect through your router, and it'll set the IP address. So it's going to start at um, these numbers here will stay the same, 192.168.1, and this last number is where you're going to change. You start at point 0.1, and you can go all the way up to point 0.250 or 250. Um, so I'm going to go down back here. And I'm going to set this um, IP address 192.168.1. And these are always going to be the same. And over here, this last number, this is what's going to be different each computer. Each computer in the office, if you're going to set static IP addresses, needs to have a different one. So I'm going to set something which I know I don't have. I'm going to set this as a 114. So I know what, no other computer in, the, in, the, in our office or network has that. If I click down here, this is this is automatically going to set in. And the default gateway, 192, it's basically going to be these three sets of numbers up here that we just put in. There, 168.1, and this is dot um, one. And you can see this is the same here, the default gateway where we just saw all this. So the only thing we're going to change on each computer is this IP, the last three numbers here, whether you want to set it as 0.2, 0.3, 114, um, 201, whatever. Each one, just this last number has to be different on each computer, but these will all be the same. And I can go down here and put the preferred DNS server. You don't need this, but um, but I am going to put this in um, 192.168.1.1. So this will be the same. This will be the same. And the only thing different is going to be this one. So I'm going to hit OK. And this is going to, every time we log in, um, this is going to have this IP address. If I hit OK, 
and close. It'll just take um, a few seconds, and your router is going to reassign the IP address for this computer. And it'll, when this is done, it'll close. And then when we run this um, IP config again, it's going to show that that's the new IP address. And that's how you set a static IP address for um, computers on your network. So I'm going to go down here with this finish. There you go. Now it's finished. So that was the old um, IP address that was assigning. And if we go back and look, now it should have that command. And we're going to do type in IP config. And you should see now this is what the router put this IP. And every time you start this computer, this is going to have the IP, this IP address in here. And that's how you can find it on the network. So I'm going to, this, this is a workstation. I just showed you how to set a static IP address. I'm going to go over to our OfficeMate server. This is my OfficeMate server. And we're going to look in here. Um, go to start and control panel, network, internet, network sharing. And we're going to go back over here to where we did before, change adapter setting. So this is the ethernet cable thing that we um, did before on the workstation. And we're going to go to properties and under internet protocol version four, we're going to hit properties. And you can see here, this has already been set with the static IP address. So my server's static IP address is this 103. And all these other settings are the same as the other settings. I'm, all the other computers, the only difference is this. So this is the static IP address that we have um, for this server. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you one thing. If you go to start, and I'm going to go to computer, right click, properties. We're going to look at the computer name of the, my server. The computer name here is Omate Server 2. And I'm, so this is the computer that when you install your office mate, this is the computer that all the data is sitting on. So I'm going to go, that's my server IP address. So I'm going to go back over to my workstation computer. And here's um, the first of two things that can dramatically speed up office mate. What we're going to do is go down to start, go up to computer, double click the C drive, and we're going to go into windows. And in here, you're going to see this folder, this little, excuse me, this file called omate32.ini. I'm going to double click this. And then when you install OfficeMate, um, when it installs, it's looking for where your data is. And you're selecting when you install where your data is. So you're telling the installation that your data is on the computer name omate server 2 this one right here in data search. And if you look down here, right here, Omate Server 2. So all we're going to do, a simple trick, is instead of the computer, when you launch off of Mate, looking for the computer name, we're going to put in here the static IP address. It's a lot faster way that computers can find each other on the network. So that static IP address that we just looked on the server is 192.168.1.103. And all we're doing is changing this here, instead of Office Mate, Omate Server 2 with the name, don't change anything else other than this. We're just taking this out and putting in the static IP address, 168.1.103. And now your computer will be able to find this much faster. Um, so this, that's only the only two places that you see that, Omate ter Server 2 that was in there. So now we have the static IP address, we can go in, and save and it's just that simple every time you install a, a new um, update to a major release going from office mate 12 to office mate 14 office mate 14 to office mate 15 sometimes the installation will go in here and overwrite um, your ip address and it may put back in your server name so anytime you go from a major change um, in installation, just double check this file and make sure that your server IP address is in here. If not, if it's, if it's the server name, you may want to go back and change this again. But if you're just going from a, um, OfficeMate 
to 15.2. Um, this file won't be overridden usually, but it's only if you do a major chain 12 to 14 or 14 to 15 or 15 to newer uh, to 16. I'll just double check this file. So that is um, something that you only need to change this on each workstation, um, not on the server itself, because the server is not looking for itself on network, it's already on itself. Um, so that's the first, and I found that has been the most significant speed boost. Just a simple change like on um, to boost up your speed on the network. And the other, and the next thing is, um, let's go back to the workstation, is if you're if you've done that and you still have some speed issues, then the next thing is to go in and check your firewall. So we're going to go back to start, control panel, system and security, Windows firewall. And if you're still having a little bit of speed issue, go into your firewall. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the firewall off. And it's not recommended. We're going to just hit OK. And so your firewall is turned off. And then run Office Mate and see if that boosts it. If that did boost up your speed, um, even when you did your IP address, then, um, and if you still want to, if you want to put your firewall back on, I'm going to show you there's some settings that you can turn your firewall on, but you can allow some different things to go through your port. I'm not going to go into that video here. So to find the article, some other things you can do, including some different settings in your firewall. So you can go to the, the iFinity homepage, up to here, education and support, go to support community, log in and in support community you're going to see this section called knowledge base and then here you can put in here you can search for anything if you're having issues and you want to look at any articles that have been released so this i'm going to type slowness and you, you'll see here's an article on slowness issues with using office mate exam writer and click on that and here's the whole article and other things you can do um, to speed up office mate uh, first thing, if you haven't rebooted your server, that's a real simple one, reboot it. Uh, make sure you have the system requirements for OfficeMate. If your OfficeMate database size is getting really big, um, this is something that you want to have a certified Microsoft IT person that specializes in SQL database to check all this. To practice domain server, this is what we just did. We're changing the OfficeMate server name to the static IP address simple to do now if you use the ECR vault um, you check with them and here's your anti your firewall if you turned it off you can turn it back on but this is an article of different ports that you can open and allow to go through um, so you can still turn your firewall on you just may have to adjust some settings here and the last thing um, if you have a large number of exam writer exams open um, you may want to have those finalized or closed and um, and this last one here, um, this is more for your IT person. So that's a short video. Hopefully that speeds things up for you with Office Mate and Exam Writer.